Welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John. And this is Corey. That's me. <laughs> Love that. It definitely is. Today we're going to be talking about this Guild D40 Traditional, a really cool USA built guild that you should know more about. And we're going to talk about it right after this. So here we are, Corey. We are talking about Guild Guitars, and uh, which is kind of unique to do in the Dreadnought world. Well, they've been known for Dreadnoughts too, but this particular guitar, I think, gets extra marks because I think it makes a fabulous flat-picking guitar, which is not what Guild has been known for. And we'll talk a lot more about that, but before we do, I do want to mention, if you are first time coming to the channel, please do subscribe because we would love to have you as part of our team. The more of you that do that, the better chance we have of continuing to do these videos because if nobody's watching them, guess what? We can't do them anymore. That's, they actually came out with an internet rule that says if nobody's watching your videos, you're not allowed to put them out anymore. You're not allowed. <laughs> That's not true. But we would love it for you guys to be part of this. You can also hit that bell. That way you're notified every time we have a new video coming out, whether it be a live one or a pre-recorded one. You can check those out, uh, see these reviews. Also, please interact and comment down below because we love to do that. It gives us a chance to uh, talk about the weird way Corey's holding his guitar. It wasn't really that weird, but now it is. <laughs> now it is. Anyway, as always, we do have a tone sample of this guitar at the end of the video. You can skip directly to that with the link that is down below, as well as there is an entire performance video that you can see where we uh, learn to be uh, Elton John for just a short while. I, you weren't wearing your glasses. It was very strange. They shot but, us into space. <laughs> but we played uh, on these two guitars and you can see an entire performance video of that in the links down below. There you go. So now let's get down to business and talk about Guild Guitars. Um, Guild has been kind of known, originally Guild was known as uh, a premium guitar brand in the 60s and 70s, uh, all the way into it to the 80s. Later was sold to uh, Fender and kind of went through a lot of changes and influx. And then real recently, uh, the Cordoba Music Group bought the Guild name, as well as all the original toolings and forms and all that of those great guitars that we all know and love, uh, and actually rebuilt a new factory in Oxnard. You can still, in Oxnard, California, by the way, um, you can still buy a lot of the import stuff, and uh, most people kind of know Guild for that because they are doing a really great job at, at making affordable guitars as an import brand. But now bringing back the USA brand is a big surprise, and they're doing a lot of retro models that were very closely based to the original models. Uh, mm. that came out as well as some kind of new takes on it and that's kind of what we have here this is the d40 traditional this was a d40 had been out before and they have another variation of this but what was cool was they brought back ren ferguson who was part of the original guild team then went to work i don't know if you know this or not but mm. ren uh, went to work for gibson for a while and was a great guitar designer and luthier and then when they went and started redoing this, they actually brought him back in to be able to kind of redesign the USA build guitars again. I think also he probably had a pretty good hand on the import guitars. And that gave them a chance to kind of come up with some new-ish versions of old guitars. That's what I have right here. This guitar does not sound like your granddad's uh, Guild guitar. This is a little bit different, got more power, and it's more modern take on a traditional sounding uh, Dreadnought guitar. Um, I know you, we, we looked at this last night. We were yeah. both kind of a very big surprise. Mm -hmm. First time I played one of these, it was not what I expected to hear out of them. This is a powerhouse Dreadnought guitar. The first thing I noticed whenever I picked this guitar up was how light it was. Um, and I guess, as you were saying, they can really do that due to their Adirondack bracing that they use. On that the is right. So yeah. you brought that up. Um, this is a Sitka spruce top, but what they did differently was use red spruce or Adirondack spruce for the bracing. Mm. Uh, those of you that know uh, why Adirondack spruce, we've kind of gone over that in other videos, but real short of it is uh, red spruce has more strength per square inch, making you available to make it lighter. 
So one of the cool things with using Adirondack bracing is they can make that smaller and lighter, thinner, and still have the strength that they would want out of the uh, regular Sitka spruce bracing. But that frees up the top to move a whole lot more, right. making it a much more powerful uh, guitar. So I do think that is part of the key that has made this a whole lot uh, bigger sounding guitar. Yeah, it's a very big sounding box just for right out the right out of the right out of the case. Yeah. I can't talk. Yeah, it's all right. I can't either. I just <laughs> mumble along and say stupid things, and most of it comes out as <laughs> stupid things that are recorded. Um, but. Uh, Another really cool thing that they were able to do that is really unique, especially for California, was uh, they found a building that was grandfathered in so they can still, as of right now, continue to spray nitrocellulose lacquer as they're finished. So this is a USA-built guitar with a nitrocellulose lacquer finish, the Adirondack spruce bracing with a Sitka spruce top. Again, giving it more of that traditional... Uh, Martin-esque sound, I guess that's the best right. way to say it, um, in, in a modern guitar build. Um, it does have the stylings of Guild, whether you love that or whether you don't, I guess that's up to you. But I have said this before, I've had uh, D40 Traditionals in, I would not be ashamed to bring this on stage anywhere and put it up against any Mahogany Dreadnought. I think yeah. it stands to it. It is punchy. <laughs> bottom end is massive and very round and I think that's kind of has those characteristics of jumping out a little bit like an Adirondack mm. spruce top but that warmer more subdued tone of Sitka spruce which is just a little bit softer a little bit more round mm -hmm. um, but yet still very very powerful um, I you know I'm, I'm a big fan of this guitar uh, you know, again, traditional stylings of Guild, having the big headstock with that Guild logo, the Guild pickguard, and also the shape of the Westerly uh, bridge as well. You know, if you were to blindfold somebody, they would never tell you that this was a Guild guitar. I, I, I would just, just tell you it's a great sounding guitar. guitar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's the key to this, and I think that is what... Uh, uh, will impress most people if they get a chance to check it out. Again, the specs on this guitar, this is, I believe, a inch and 11 sixteenths. If I am wrong, they will fix it in post. But I do believe it is an inch and 11 sixteenths, mahogany neck, mahogany back and sides. It is stained in that dark brown color, very similar to the Martin style guitars, uh, with a Sitka spruce top, gorgeous hand-built guitar out of uh, Oxnard. Again, we have uh, the ebony bridge and ebony fretboard unbound, uh, bone nut and saddle on this, and it's just a fabulous sounding guitar with a really nice case too as well. They have mm -hmm. their humid, uh, humida cases, I believe is what they're called. It has a little humidifier built in, something that is just a little extra feature. Um, so I just think it's a, a really good dreadnought uh, that again, USA built at an affordable rate. This is not an expensive guitar. Yeah. This, uh, you know, in comparison to the guitar you're holding right there is almost half the price. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is definitely something that if you're looking to get a great guitar and not have to break the bank, this should be something that you should definitely put on your list. I think if you can just picture what you think a mahogany guitar is supposed to sound like, this is like a picture perfect representation of that, especially a modern one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Guild has done a, real, a really great job, really knocked it out of the park with these I, I 240s. Would, I would agree with that 100%. Mm -hmm. I love it. I, you know, everybody I've ever had played it has enjoyed playing these guitars. So mm -hmm. definitely one you should put on your list uh, if you're out there looking for a mahogany dreadnought.
And we really appreciate you guys watching that video. It was my favorite it's one we've made so far. We've, we've done hundreds of videos, and that was the best one. It was. And the next one's gonna be even better. If you'd like to see that, be sure you subscribe to this channel. And also, the more you comment and inter interact below, the more the YouTube algorithms pick it up and start pushing it out to other people, like-minded people. Algorithms? Algorithms, they're everywhere. They permeate the internet, and YouTube's got one. And it watches our videos, and it sees how much you comment, and then it pushes us to other people like you. And we want everyone to experience the, the acoustic shop world where we talk about instruments, we do reviews, we've got some fun videos coming up. We thank you guys so much for being a part of it, and we'll see you in the next video.